Mm -hmm. um, I mean, some of these are so poor they don't have money to buy a bus ticket. So that's why they're riding the cargo trains. And there's routes that go from southern Mexico all the way up to northern Mexico. And one of the main routes is here to Piedra Negras. And that's why it's become a hotspot. Can I touch one of these uh, barriers? Yeah. <laughs> This would be pretty, I mean, this is a pretty serious deterrent. It, it, uh, somewhat, but as you can see, they'll bring their blankets. Yeah, you can, you can throw that right over. And that's how they get across. See, that's the main thing is they're using those deterrents. Who put this up? So this comes from uh, uh, Operation Lone Star, Governor okay. Abbott and National Guard. They're the ones laying out the barbed wire. Okay. And I'm sure you've seen the videos of Border Patrol cutting it. Yep. The argument is that they've set foot on U.S. soil, so they have to let them in. So that's why Border Patrol cut the wire, take them over there and get them processed. So Border Patrol cut this wall? To let the migrants through. Wait, I don't, I don't get that. That doesn't make sense to me. So that's the whole debate going on right now between uh, at the federal level and state level. Where Governor so, so Abbott is saying Governor Abbott put this up. Put, he's putting barriers to deter the crossings. Mm -hmm. But once migrants come and they set foot on U.S. soil, like literally Perfect. that that little like plot plot of Correct. land right there that little Correct. where's the island you mentioned over there it's that one right there okay so where's the island island doesn't count as u.s soil it is okay um, so they get to the island that are good exactly so that's why once if they're drowning uh border patrol will rescue them on there so this is irrelevant then if they just set foot on the island Correct. or u.s soil 